The Spirit and the Word. The Spirit gives inspiration, the Word gives information. Together they become revelation and revelation brings transformation. That's the way it's been since the beginning. The Spirit and the Word working together. Think of the creation narrative in the very first chapter of Genesis. The Holy Spirit hovered above the face of the deep when God spoke all things into existence. God the Father gave the command, the Word was released, and the power of the Holy Spirit partnered with that Word to bring about creation. You need the Holy Spirit to teach you the Word. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 says, but people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's Spirit. It all sounds foolish to them and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the Spirit means. And you need the Word to properly be taught by the Holy Spirit. John chapter 14, verse 26 says, but when the Father sends the Advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. If you don't have the Word, with what will the Spirit teach you? If you don't listen to the Holy Spirit, how will you truly understand the Word? The free spirit has trouble with developing and with seeing the need for a disciplined devotion to the Word. The analytical mind has trouble with surrendering to the Holy Spirit. In each and every one of us, there's a change that needs to take place in order for us to experience the fullness of what God offers. For every kind of believer, there is a side to God that will confront that believer. On one hand, we have those who imagine that being a disciple of Christ is aimless wandering. They think that spirituality demands no discipline or structure. These believers despise the biblical structure of the church they have issues with accountability, they are uncomfortable with the idea of spiritual authority, and they often mishandle the scriptures. They wander into Christian superstitions and develop weird, unbiblical ideas. They applaud when their teachers toss aside the word in order to flow with the spirit. They know the gifts, but not the glory. On the other hand, we have those who pride themselves in their biblical knowledge of texts. These believers tend to be judgmental and unnecessarily critical, hiding behind phrases like defending the faith and exposing false teachers. They become bitter and religious, rarely ever actually accomplishing anything for the sake of the gospel themselves. There's an old saying that goes, criticism is the unaccomplished man's way of complimenting himself. They applaud when their leaders hurl mean-spirited insults at fellow preachers of the gospel. Claiming Christ alone, what they actually mean is Christ plus believe every doctrine exactly as they believe it. Now, in this hour, neither extreme will do. God is raising a people of both word and spirit. This is the new move of the Holy Spirit. You can have both power and truth, joy and holiness, supernatural manifestation and biblical postulation. We need both word and spirit. The Word of God is the building material of the Spirit. It is with the Word that the Holy Spirit creates. The Word is the substance, the actualizing material used by the Spirit to bring forth something real and lasting. The two streams are coming together to make one river. The people of the Word are uniting with the people of the Spirit. The result will be a move of God that is free but not chaotic, energized but not disorderly. The clear, true gospel of salvation will be presented with miraculous demonstration. The miraculous will not be neglected, but neither will miracles become the focus. There will be a depth of the word and a surrender to the spirit. It's happening now. A beautiful, balanced move of God is upon us. A move of both the word and the spirit. I'm David Eager Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like this, sign up to my emailing list by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. When you sign up, you are signing up to receive free resources from me on a weekly basis. I will send you teachings and videos and articles, things that will bless your life. So sign up today. Again, it's absolutely free. davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, 
Help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.